So, welcome back to my channel. This name is Reflection of Education. So, I am back. First of all, Assalamu alaikum to all of you. Hope you all will be fine, inshallah. We all know that COVID 19 of coronavirus, very dangerous virus, has been spread in the whole world. So, stay home and stay safe and watch my video. Please stay home, stay at home, don't go outside to keep you and your family safe. Please don't go outside and follow the SOPs. my new topic so what will be my new topic my new topic will be very informative and helpful for you in your studies you can easily note down and you will easily learn and will, you will easily understand everything what will i tell you what will i describe to you because i will describe you in easy words so my new topic it's about biological topic. It's a biological topic, heart. We will learn in this video about heart. You should know what you will learn in this video and what will I describe to you in this video. So now I will tell to you what we will learn in this video about heart. So let's go and see. So, what will we learn about in this video? What will we learn? What will I describe to you in this video and what you will learn? Let's discuss. You should know what will you study in this video and what will I describe to you? So, the things I am going to tell you about the heart is, what is heart? Heart's chambers and their functions. We will learn in this video what is heart, what are the functions of heart, what the structure of heart, uh, what the work heart do, heart chambers and their functions, the names of the chambers of heart and uh, what does the function of heart chambers, uh, what their structures, what the do, what they do, it is. Some heart test is, sorry it's by mistake, I'm not going to tell you about the some heart test is in this video. Uh, inshallah in next video, I will tell you about the heart test is in the next heart video. Uh, in this video, I will tell you about the few diseases of heart. But in this video, I will only tell you few diseases of heart like the 7 to 8 diseases. But in next video, I will tell you about more diseases with their syndromes, what the causes, if there is curable or not, or not, and also included some heart testers. So now move on and let's start our video. I will describe you about the heart. So now let's start. So, the first question arises here, that what is heart, how it is made, from which things the heart is made up of, where it is located, what's its size, how it's work, what is the function of heart, what is the structure of heart, what is the need of the heart in our body. So now let me answer you all of these questions. Heart. The heart is a muscular organ about the size of a fist located just behind and slightly left of the breastbone. The heart pumps blood 
through the network of arteries and veins called the cardiovascular system. Heart has four chambers, right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle and left ventricle. I only read the paragraph. Now I will explain you this paragraph about heart. So, heart is a muscular organ which is made up of muscular tissue. Okay, clear about the size of a fist, our hand fist, located just behind and slightly left of the breastbone. The heart pumps blood. The heart, the work of the heart is to pump blood through the network of arteries and veins. Arteries. These are blood vessels responsible for carrying oxygen rich blood away from the heart to the body. Veins are blood vessels that carry blood low in oxygen from the body back to the heart for reoxygenation. This is the difference between arteries and veins. Is it clear? So, now let's come back to the paragraph and let's discuss more about heart. So, the heart pumps blood through the network of arteries and veins called the cardiovascular system. Heart pumps blood with the network of arteries and veins. The network arteries and veins and the system arteries and veins made is called cardiovascular system. Heart has four chambers. Right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium and left ventricle. It's simple that Heart has four chambers and their names are written. I don't know that I'm telling you, I'm teaching you, uh, I'm discussing with you uh, in the right way or not. So if there is any mistake, um, just tell me in comments and uh, or if you can, just ignore. So, the next question, what is contraction and relaxation? How heart pumps blood? What is heartbeat? Everything. So, these types of questions arises in human brain. And several more questions like this. Not only about heart, but also about other organs, environment, physics, chemistry, chemicals, environment, nature, light, sun, moon, solar system, brain, nerves, everything, tissues, cells, blood, plasma, everything. Every question arises in human brain. These types of questions excited human beings to discover the answer of these types of questions. Then scientists discovered about all these things by observing experiments, result, theory, everything. Now let's discuss about what is contraction and what is relaxation. The cardiac circle refers to the alternating contraction and relaxation of the myocardium in the walls of the heart chambers coordinated by the conductive system during one heartbeat. Systole is the contraction phase of the cardiac cycle and diastole is the relaxation phase Heart beats about 70 times in a minute. 
Now let me explain this paragraph. The cardiac cycles refer to the alternating contraction and relaxation of the myocardium in the walls of heart chambers. The contraction, heartbeat of the myocardium. So the first question is, what is myocardium? Myocardium is responsible for pumping blood with oxygen to the body. The myocardium itself requires a blood supply in order to work. Our heart beats about 70 times in a minute. Only in a minute our heart beats about 70 times. What is diastole and systole? Diastole and systole are two main phases of the cardiac cycle. They occur as the heart beats, pumping blood through a system of blood vessels that carry blood to every part of the body. Systole occur when heart contracts to pump blood out and the stall occurs when the heart relaxes after contraction. I hope that you understand everything that I described to you. But you have any question in your mind and any confusion you can ask me in comment section. Now let's move on. Heart chambers and their functions. So now let me describe to you about the chambers of heart and their functions. What are the functions of heart chambers? So let's discuss about this. Right atrium. So what is the function of right atrium? Function of right atrium. The right atrium receives blood from the veins and pump it to the right vessel. Right ventricle function. The right ventricle receives blood from the right atrium and pump it to the lungs where it is loaded with oxygen. Left atrium function. The left atrium receives oxygenated blood from the lungs and pumps it to the left ventricle. Left ventricle function. The left ventricle function, the strongest chamber, pumps oxygen rich blood to the rest of the body. The left ventricle with various contraction create our blood pressure. So now let me describe to you about the chambers of heart and the function. Firstly, right atrium receives blood from the veins and pump it to the right ventricle. Right atrium receives blood from the veins. So the blood from the veins are deoxygenized blood which is not oxygenated. Right atrium pumps the blood to the right ventricle. The right ventricle receives blood from the right atrium and pumps it to the lungs where it is loaded with oxygen. Second method is the right atrium receives blood from the right atrium which is deoxygenized, not oxygenated blood. 
So the right ventricle pumps it to the lungs where it is loaded with oxygen. You all know that the lungs are the organs where exchange of gases take place, where carbon dioxide is excluded and oxygen is inhaled. So the work of the right ventricle is to, to pump the flush to the lungs, which right ventricle receives from right atrium. Then lungs loaded the blood with oxygen. Left atrium function. The left atrium receives oxygenated blood from the lungs and pump it to the left ventricle. It's already simply explained that the left artery receives oxygenated blood from the lungs and then pump it to the left ventricle. Left ventricle function. The left ventricle, the strongest chamber, pumps oxygen-rich blood to the rest of the body. The left ventricle, the gorious contraction, creates our blood pressure. It symbols that the left artery is the strongest chamber, pumps oxygen-rich blood to the rest of the body. It symbols that the left ventricle is very strongest chamber that pumps oxygenated blood. Oxygen rich or oxygenated blood is same to the rest of the body, to the whole body with the with veins. The veins transport blood to the whole body. Transport blood. The left ventricle, the glorious contraction creates our blood pressure means Left ventricle uh, contraction create our blood pressure. So now move on next topic of heart. So, what is coronary artery? What is the function of coronary artery and where it is located? Coronary artery is our heart artery which carries blood from the body to the heart to pump it. So, now let's read the paragraph and then I will explain the paragraph to you. I will describe what is written in this in easy words. The coronary arteries run along the surface of the heart and provide oxygen-rich blood to the heart muscle. A web of nerve tissues also run through the heart, conducting the complex signals that go on contraction and relaxation. Surrounding the heart is a space called the pericardium. So it symbols that the coronary arteries runs along the surface of the heart. And provide oxygen rich blood to the heart muscles. A web of nerve tissues also run through the heart. First, what is nerve tissues? Nerve tissues are our brain tissues, just like nerve cells, our brain neurons. Nervous system, our nervous system that uh, is a uh, spinal cord, brain, nerves, all are made of nerve tissues. And nerve tissues are made up of nerve cells or neurons. So it's simple as that the, a web of nerve tissues also run through the heart tissue that conducts the complex signals that go on contraction and relaxation. The contraction and relaxation 
happens with the complex signals of nerve tissues surrounding the heart is a cell called the pericardium. Now, what is pericardium? Pericardium or pericardial cell containing the heart and the roots of great vessels has two layers a serous and fibrous layer in simple a sac around the heart in simple words to make it easy it's a sac around the heart pericardium has two layers one is serous and second one is fibrous layer now let's move on the diseases of heart conditions of heart i will tell you deeply about heart conditions or heart diseases some heart conditions now let me tell you and let me define you about the heart diseases there are some heart diseases that will i am going to describe i am going to describe you about these all diseases of heart also about the causes and syndromes what are the symptoms what are the causes if it is curable or not i will tell you everything about these diseases coronary artery disease over the years cholesterol plaques can narrow the arteries supplying blood to the heart the narrowed arteries are at higher risk for complete blockage from a sudden blood clot this blockage is called a heart attack angina stable angina pectoris narrow coronary arteries cause predictable chest pain or discomfort with excursion the blockage prevents the heart for from receiving the extra oxygen needed for strenuous activity syndromes typically get better with rest unstable angina pectoris chest pain or discomfort that is new worsening or occur at rest this is an emergency situation as it can predict a heart attack serious abnormal heart rhythm or cardiac arrest myocardial infection or simply heart attack a coronary artery is suddenly blocked a stop of oxygen part of the heart muscles die coronary artery disease when our cholesterol level is high our plaque can narrow the artery supply blood to the heart plaque was narrowed our coronary artery artery supply the blood to the heart you know so when arteries are narrowed it has a higher risk for complete blockage from a sudden clot clot of what clot of blood this complete blockage can cause a heart attack it's curable doctor do surgery and take out the plaque from our arteries by injection causes are high cholesterol high blood pressure plaque angina angina has two types a stable angina pectoris there are coronary arteries and other diseases of heart can uh, can cause chest pain it's not a disease but it's a syndrome it's a pain or discomfort with expiration means effort force blockage prevents the heart from receiving the extra oxygen needed for strenuous activity 
in this type of angina rest can better the pain but in unstable angina pectoris rest can increase the chest pain or discomfort and can cause the heart attack serious abnormal heart rhythm or cardiac arrest is the syndrome cardiac infection or simply heart myocardial infection is a scientific name of heart attack we say heart heart attack but doctors and scientists say myocardial infection a coronary artery is suddenly blocked to stop or oxygen part of the heart muscle dies myocardial infection is heart attack you know so it can be caused by coronary artery disease and angina and other more diseases of heart uh, for blood pressure for tension for stress everything for cholesterol heart attack is possible a coronary artery is suddenly blocked and part of the heart muscle dies in myocardial infection part of the heart muscle suddenly dies and the coronary artery is suddenly blocked due to the blockage of coronary artery heart muscle dies and occurs heart attack avoid myocardial infection just exercise and uh, avoid cholesterol highness and uh, high blood pressure maintain everything uh, don't eat too much uh, oily things that can gain your cholesterol your weight your plaques will narrow your arteries and the heart attack can occur some more conditions of heart i will discuss a more four diseases of heart with their symptoms with their curable if they are curable or not i will tell you and um, uh, and also the causes and how can we avoid all these heart diseases arrhythmia arrhythmia also diastolic Arrhythmia and abnormal heart rhythm due to changes in the condition of electrical impulses through the heart. Some arrhythmia are benign, but others are life-threatening. Congestive heart failure. The heart is either too weak or stiff to effectively. pump blood through the heart shortness of breath and neck swelling a common syndrome cardiomyopathy a disease of heart muscles in which the heart is abnormally enlarged thick and or stiff stem as a result the heart's ability to pump blood is weakened myocardial inflammation of the heart muscles most often due to a viral infection so the arrhythmia which we uh, also called as arrhythmia an abnormal heartbeat with reduction in the conduction of electrical impulse through the heart some arrhythmia are visual but others are live streaming visual in which we uh, can live and live streaming is very dangerous Uh, when heart beats fast it is called tachycardia congestive heart failure in this disease heart is either too weak or too stiff to efficiently pump blood heart cannot pump blood easily and uh, like that the before the disease a uh, heart pumps blood through the body shortness of breath and neck swelling are common symptoms cardiomyopathy a disease of heart muscles in which the heart is abnormally enlarged 
is a cardiomyopathy is a disease in the is a disease of heart muscles in which the heart is abnormally enlarged or stiff as a result the heart's ability to pump blood is weak and heart cannot pump pump blood like in this way that the others heart cardiomyopathy cannot be reversed means it has no cure but it can lead to heart failure means heart attack or heart fail cardiomyopathy has no cure but uh, uh, drugs and medicines just use them and uh, exercise and avoiding uh, cholesterol like foods oily things and just exercise cardiomyopathy has other three types we will discuss about this in next video myocardial inflammation of the heart muscles most often due to a viral infection myocardial is a disease in which heart muscle inflamed means thick large most often due to a viral infection means like swelling inflammation most often due to a viral infection is cause of viral infection If you exercise daily, avoid you too much oily things, and uh, maintain your diet. Don't eat too much, and don't uh, decrease your diet to you will be very weak. Just eat everything in balance. Don't don't do over eating because uh, like uh, some people eat too much green vegetables. Green vegetative vegetables have potassium. When potassium level in your body is high, then it will affect on your kidneys. So just balance. Don't eat too much things and don't uh, decrease the things. now i hope that everything i tell to you you all understand these things and uh, that the things i define to you you easily understand everything if you have any question in your mind and any confusion you can ask me in comment section i will reply to you and please like my video subscribe to my channel guys in this video i did many effort so please like my video and subscribe my channel support me if you have any question and any confusion you can ask to me take care of yourself and stay at home and safe and i love this to my next video just remember me in your prayers and i love